Pollination is one of the most important processes on an apple orchard. To achieve good fruit set, quality and yield, you must have successful pollination. To better understand pollination, farmers need to know about the two key parts of pollination, pollinators and pollinizers. Orchards need both for good pollination. Pollinators are bees, flies, insects and birds that carry pollen between the flowers. Pollinizers are the varieties of apple trees that provide this pollen. First, let's take a closer look at pollinizers. Apple trees need another apple tree, usually a different variety, for cross-pollination. This is called a pollinizer. In India, Gala and Fuji are new varieties used as pollinizers in many commercial orchards. Traditional varieties such as Granny Smith and Golden Delicious are also used. Crab apples are an abundant source of pollen as well. The pollinizers must flower at the same time as the main apple crop and produce plenty of pollen to spread throughout the orchard. When commercial varieties like Fuji and Gala are planted as pollinizers, they should be planted in the middle rows, with the main crop planted on either side. There should be no more than four consecutive rows of one variety. In smaller orchards, single pollinizer trees should be spread throughout the orchard with a ratio of at least 25% of the pollinizer varieties planted. For orchards that don't have pollinizer trees, there are two ways to make sure there is sufficient pollen available. One of the ways is to use a bouquet of flowers from a different apple variety and I'm going to cut them and put them in a bucket uh, with water. I'm going to select suits which have a lot of flowers on them. Next, I'm going to place the flowers throughout the orchard where the bees can find them. You can see I have placed them a head height. Replace the flowers uh, whenever you need to while the main crop is flowering. The second way is to graft in a pollinizer. This is when you graft buds or shoots of pollinizer variety in the main trees in winter. It is done often and it is quick and easy way to increase pollen without having an entire tree. Now let's look at pollinators. Apple flowers are pollinated by various types of insects such as bees, flies and birds like the white eye. Managed hives are not the only source of pollination. In Himachal Pradesh, there are nearly 40 species of insects that have been found on apple flowers. Bumblebees, sweat bees, mason bees and other bees are also very important for pollination and less likely to be impacted by changes in environmental conditions. Flies, like the hoverfly, can also help pollinate the orchard. They may even have an advantage because they are also predators of pests such as aphids. Farmers need to do what they can to protect and encourage the population of native bees, flies and birds. One of the best ways to do this is to preserve natural vegetation, banks and streams around the orchard. These areas provide food and are where pollinators build nests and stay away from sprays. Clay hives can also prove secure nesting sites. To know that pollination is occurring, you should be able to see the insects working on the flowers when there are good weather conditions. Overall, monitoring your pollinizers and pollinators helps with successful pollination, leading to better quality fruit and higher yields.